Machiani political incorrect. I spoke to a gentleman called Farad Mita. Uh, he was a councillor candidate in, in, in Johannesburg, Lenasia side. Uh, it is the by elections that were supposed to happen tomorrow, 11 September. What nine? Johannesburg, city of Johannesburg. No, here's the predicament. Unfortunately, uh, Farad Ismail Mita has passed on. Uh, condolences to him and his family and the rest of the MK potential voters and the ground forces. This leaves MK with a huge predicament. I do not know how it will happen and I do not know. So I want us to unpack it first. So let me just say that uh, I spoke to Farad. I spoke to Mohammed first and Farad, uh, he gave me contact to, to Farad to speak to him. And he was supposed to come and sit in studio. Uh, he was very excited. He was always buoyant about uh, this this candidate because he had, he believed he was going to win. And unfortunately, he was rushed to hospital. And uh, yesterday or today, he was rushed to hospital. And unfortunately, he did not make it. And. Uh, unfortunately he passed on he said let's not do a telephone interview let he wants to come to the studio to speak to me uh, and unfortunately it, well it, it didn't happen and I'm always at pains I would rather have a telephone interview if you cannot come especially for someone who who's who, who needs this this campaign but to be short here's the predicament that MK is, is left with he did lots of work on the ground he did lots of work on the ground and they can just let it go he's on the ballot he's going to vote he's going to be voted for uh, to my understanding and of which is very limited to iec processes if he wins okay if his candidature wins the by-election there's going to be a by-election anyway because the councillor elect is no more and is already on the ballot. Will IEC say, maybe by the time I do this, uh, they are also planning the, the media uh, release. Should IEC, I don't know what the law says, and I, I request you guys to, 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 follow, to follow up and advise us what, what is it that, that, so if, if a statement comes to clarify this, I will also share it on the, on, on, on the bio of this, uh, on the description of this, uh, of this podcast. If MK does not field a new candidate, of which is very late for them to do that, to put on the post and also because they are voting tomorrow, in 24 hours they'll be voting. In fact, today they've already started voting because it should be a special, uh, special, uh, what is it? Special elections where he was supposed to have voted himself. His family could be voting as we speak. If he emerges, there's automatically going to be by elections. Should that specific word, would, should that word be set aside to say you are go, not going to, to contest will open another window for by-elections. All the other words can do it because yours, a candidate who is in too deep is already out of contest. I do not know how it's going to work and what would be the advantage or disadvantage of other political parties who are ready to, to serve. For example, if someone was because it's in the same community, there's no way they, the people will say they do not know. So they will vote for... So, of course, they are in the same community, they would vote. But do they know that they know that he's alive and they do not know what ICC's rules are? And someone might use this campaign to say, why are you wasting your, your, your vote electing someone who's no longer here? What do the ground forces do of MK? Do they continue telling people to vote for him because uh, in honor of him? And if that happens, it's almost like the Donald Trump uh, shooting incident. He's going to use it. He's going to milk it to create more voters out of it. Will this posthumously give Farad an advantage? And if it is an advantage, to what extent? So in soccer analogy, I like giving soccer analogies. It's almost like you are drawing... 
uh, the game to take it to the penalties but you're not sure even if the penalties you're going to win or you may not even win the penalties because as it were the odds are, are stacked against MK because someone as we speak could be calling people to say don't vote for that person because he's no longer there you'll be wasting your vote rather give it to someone else unfair if you think about it but also if you think about it what then should happen should they vote for him so they can vote for another person again or should they vote for him because they can't say it's not like it's in parliament they can't vote for him and then they will meet him in uh, they will change the what is it they will change the candidatureship but please tell me what you feel about it a lot of people are not happy about it uh, those who know the law please explain to us what did that must happen thank you machine political incorrect uh, as we start to investigate what had happened to uh, what what would what should happen to this case thank you bye <laughs> Yes, my name is Theo Damimi, convener of Gondo, this is the Greater Johannesburg. Thank you, uh, Comrade Theo. Uh, you are away, you are recorded on the podcast? Yes. Okay, Mashiani Political Incorrect, I just want to check how uh, how, how the loss of uh, Mr. Farad has affected MK Party. Uh, with the by-elections uh, happening today and tomorrow? We are definitely shocked uh, to hear the news this morning. I spoke to him yesterday. He was in a very good spirit, waiting for, for him to go and vote. Sorry for that, you can make it. No, no, no. Yes, can, you, you can continue, sir. Sorry for that. We were just uh, shocked by the passing away of Comrade Farad. Uh, because um, yesterday we just spoke to him. He was in very good spirit. Uh, wanting to come uh, to request the password from the doctors to come and vote today. Unfortunately, in the morning we just received the news that he has passed on. But uh, because of his legacy and his commitment to fight for the people of Ward 9, we are going to continue as Umkonto FC to campaign in his name, and we are going to tell the people to vote Umkonto FC tomorrow in his legacy so that uh, his thinking and his vision uh, will carry on in terms of Umkonto FC. Okay. Uh, can you kindly just indicate... Uh the direct implications that uh, MK will suffer from from this bereavement. I'm, I'm understanding that uh, the ballot is already there and today is special elections. So what, 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 what is going to happen on the ground, practicalities? No, we are going to continue. There's nothing changes. Uh, we are going to continue in the name of Farad. And today we are telling all the special voters who are going to vote for Umkondo Ossizu, to go and vote for Umkondo Ossizu in the name of Farad. And tomorrow, uh, we are going to also request the people of Ward 9 to vote and vote for Farad, so that uh, Umkondo Ossizu will become the uh, ward councillor of this ward. Uh, because he has passed on. Uh, if Umkondo Ossizu wins this election, therefore that means there will be by-elections where we must go to re-vote re again. Okay, uh, in the death you thank you very much. Anything that you want to say in uh, with the maybe uh, just to pay your last respect to Farad and his family, any message of condolences? Farad was a dedicated cadre of home condolences. His vision and his fighting against drugs in this community and uh, the legacy of Farad will be kept on by the Umkondo Ephesia. We are going to pick up the spear and fight and fight hard for his vision to be realized. And uh, we are saying to people... Unfortunately, uh, this is where the call was cut. Uh, we'll try to get hold of him if, if we are lucky. Thank you. Apologies for that. We could not get back and, and find Comrade Thiu again. Thank you very much.